to engineer it simple. In this video, I'll talk about steady state voltage rise, which is caused by capacitor bank switching. So at the bus that a, a capacitor bank is connected, when you switch it in into the system, there will be a voltage bump or a voltage rise. And that can be a problem, you know, that can cause flicker issues. And IEEE, they have some some uh, requirements, you know, like what, how much that voltage rise should be under like a steady state normal operation. Then I think it's like 3% should not exceed 3%. Then if there's a contingency, should be less than 5% or so. So, so the circuit you see here to the right, so basically if you write the, instead of the system, you say like you have a bus here where you wanna connect the capacitor bank. So, and you have some kind of breaker switch or that would enable switching in or out the capacitor bank. So here's the capacitor bank. So this switch basically is open. So obviously if you close it, you will put the capacitor bank in service. So let's call this the voltage at this bus VS. Then obviously the rest of the system, really we don't we don't care, you know, we just We'll just write the Thevenin equivalent impedance of the system. We'll call it ZS, and the equivalent short circuit, and this would be three phase. You know, then the rest of the system will just equal just write the equivalent. You know, basically some voltage V Thevenin, for instance. But obviously, keep in mind, there are lots of things connected. So basically, we just wrote the Thevenin equivalent of the system. So ZS is the equivalent Thevenin impedance. So prior to before closing the switch, VS, since there's no current, since no current will flow through this capacitor bank, so the Z, uh, Vs is the same as V Thevenin. After the switch is closed, so now the capacitor bank is in service, so it's in the circuit. Then we can apply, so if we say this is, so V, basically the capacitor bank, the voltage across the, or Vs, I guess we'll call it v, just Vs since we already have. So, but this is after closing these, capacitor bank switch or switching the capacitor bank in, then we can do a voltage divider. So Vs after closing the switch equal to the impedance of the capacitor bank divided by the sum of the capacitor bank impedance plus the equivalent Thevenin impedance. So that's what I wrote here, times the Thevenin voltage. So really that's what I did. So basically I just used Thevenin, well, sorry, voltage divider. So you have, here's before closing the switch, here's after. Then the voltage difference, so it's Vs with the capacitor bank switched in minus Vs without the capacitor bank switched in. So that's what I wrote here. So then if you just substitute each uh, term with its equation. If I just write the per unit, in per unit basically ignoring V Thevenin. So you get this term here, then kind of put both sides on the same denom the common denominator. So XC, XC will cancel out, you get minus ZS divided by XC plus ZS. And if I divide both not denominator and the numerator 
by xc. That's what I'm doing here. So you get this value basically. So this is kind of more of a general equation. And note, Zs or the Thevenin impedance will be smaller than the capacitor impedance. So if we assume that then Z, the, this term here basically will be, or sorry, this, this here, it will be way smaller than one. So one, this one here is greater than this term. So then the entire, so that denominator under this assumption would be equal to one basically. So the, we're trying to estimate the delta V or the voltage difference, you know, beef, uh, difference between before closing the capacitor bank switch or breaker and after the capacitor mech is is switched in so it's right you see here i put kind of it's an estimation because we are assuming this we're making this assumption here then dv would be just equal to the thevenin impedance divided by the impedance of the capacitor bank that's in per unit you can do it times the 100% if you want it in percent. And note, Zs or the Thevenin impedance of the system is the same as the voltage of the system squared divided by the available short circuit MVA divided by X of C is the voltage squared of the system that the capacitor bank is connected to divided by the actual rating or rating reactive power of the capacitor bank. Obviously, the voltage is the same, so these will go away. So we end up with the actual rating of the capacitor bank divided by the available short circuit MVA of the system. So this here, if you want it in impedance, and this one, if you want it in MVA or megavar or KVAR or KVA. So the voltage rise, rise due to capacitor bank switching is the ratio of the three-phase short circuit thevenin impedance at the capacitor bus divided by the capacitor reactors. And what is this this uh, actual rate of the capacitor bank? So it's the rated. So the actual rating of the capacitor bank is equal to the rated value of the capacitor bank times the actual voltage of the capacitor bank. That's where the system is. Uh, the system voltage to where to which the capacitor bank is connected divided by the rated voltage of the capacitor bank. And here's an example, because you might have a capacitor bank, like when you buy it from the manufacturer, say it's 40 megabar, that's what it's rated from the manufacturer. And based on that rating, it is the voltage is, this is just a, an example, a hypothetical example, 145 kV, but this capacitor bank will be connected to a system that's 138 kV, for instance. So you see the system is, the system voltage is 138 kV, but the capacitor bank is rated 145 kV. So if we apply this equation here, we can calculate the actual rating based on the system voltage. 
So actual rating is 40 megabar times the system voltage 138 kV squared divided by the capacitor bank rated voltage, which is which is 145 kV squared. So the actual rating is 36.23 megabar. So it's important to know these calculations. So based on the simplification or the estimation, the voltage rise, and sometimes it's called so rise, or you might hear bump, because basically when, as soon as you switch the capacitor bank in, you will see a bump in voltage. <clears throat> so it's equal to the Thevenin equivalent impedance of the system divided by the capacitor bank reactance, or the actual three-phase rating of the capacitor bank divided by the three-phase short circuit MVA of the system. So if you notice from this, from this uh, equation, if you have a weak system, that means it has a high you know, resistance. So if we go back to that, so this is just the equivalent or the thevenin. So we said equivalent So Thevenin uh, impedance. So if this impedance is very high, that means the system would be weak. And if you notice from this from this equation, the voltage rise will be very high. That means you will have you could have flicker, you can have other issues basically. So that was it for this video. I hope uh, you find it useful. So this is a good example for those that are preparing for the PE or FE exam, good to know. And also it's helpful for those who, who are designing, you know, a system, a power system, you know, whether it's design, substation design engineers or planner, planning engineers, or it's good to know because this is the concept it kind of gives you an idea like how to relate the short circuit MVA of the system to the radian of the capacitor bank to understand the voltage rise. Have a great day.